Hello, and welcome to another book review from the author's bookshelf. My name is Marian Marchetto, and today we're going to be reviewing My American Duchess by Eloisa James. I have read many period romances in my day, and My American Duchess falls squarely in the middle of them. The main difference between this story and so many others is that the leading lady is an outspoken American from Boston who, despite being brought up by an English governess, is far from being the perfect English lady. Mary Pelford is brought to England in search of a husband after she has broken off two prior engagements in America. If she doesn't find a suitable husband here, in England, then she will need to return to America and live as a spinster. But love finds Mary in the form of Cedric Allardyce, second son of a duke, although Mary is too naive to see that Cedric only wants her for her money. She agrees to marry him anyway, but soon finds that she is deeply attracted to the hard-nosed Duke of Trent, her fiancé's twin brother. Trent is hard where Cedric is soft, responsible where Cedric is not, and deeply in love with Mary. But he has had a hard life for a number of reasons and has vowed never to love another. Through a series of situations and manipulations, Trent ends up married to Mary and is content to slake his lust with her but refuses to express his love, although Mary does so quite easily. And that is precisely what he fears, that his wife is merely in love with the idea of love. As is so often the case in these stories, there comes a day when Trent is in danger of Mary losing her life, and that is when he speaks of his long-repressed emotions. The story moves slowly at first, but picks up speed until it comes to a satisfactory conclusion. There are several colorful characters, Mrs. Pond Meadow, George and Snowdrop, two highly entertaining dogs, and of course, the pineapple situation is not to be missed. And let's not forget Lady Caroline, who has had her eye to marriage on the Duke of Trent from the outset. Mary's dressing down of Lady Caroline will have the reader saying, yes. Altogether, a lighthearted read that will keep you entertained. 